Good evening from him. The lady is right. This wonderful story for him was first aired on the BBC television in 1974 by the wonderful Ronnie Barker. It had about 17 million viewers and only nine complaints after the monologue. So if anyone here is of a Davis disposition, they should get the up and fell out now. <laughs> this is the story of Rinda Seller and her Sugly Esters. Rinda Seller and her Sugly Esters lived in a Marge mansion. Got Mary every breathing. Yeah. <laughs> Margie, get ready. In the cellar, worked very hard, throwing slows, emptying post pits, and shivering shot. At the end of the day, she was knocking fackered. The sugly isters were right bugly astards. One was called Mary Hinge, and the other was called Betty Swallows. And they were right fallible hookers. They had Fetty Sweet and Fatty Swannies. <laughs> the Stugliasters had tickets to go to the ball. But the cotton ones wouldn't let me the cellar go. <laughs> Suddenly, there was a bucking fang. And the Gary Fog mother appeared. Her name was Sherry Hitto. <laughs> and she was a right looking thespian. <laughs> She turned the pumpkin and sicked my twice into a hook and huge carriage with six dandy donkeys who had huge hollocks and dick picks. The girly fodmother told her in the cellar to be back by dim light, otherwise there would be a cooking phenomenon. At the ball, Rinda Stella was dancing with the prance and hints. And suddenly, the clock struck twelve. Ding, 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 ding. Mr. Old Chuck in fright, he said Rinda Stella. And she ran out, sipping bars over olives. So dropping her snatch clipper. Uh, the very next day, the prance and hints knocked on Rinda Stella's door. And the subliesters let him in. Suddenly, Betty Swallows lifted her leg and left off a big, a thick part. <laughs> Who's first yarded? asked the handsome prince. Blame that fugly hooker over there, said Mary Hinch. <laughs> when the stinking brown cloud had lifted, he tried the glass slipper on both the sugly esters without success. Their feet stuck in funk. <laughs> Betty Swallows was stuck in fist-gusted and gave the plants some hints and lacking the kickers. This was not difficult because he had fucking huge holes and a dick pick. He tried the glass slipper, the slash slipper, <laughs> under the cellar. And it fitted Puck and Fair, <laughs> And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> and she made their plants and hens come. <laughs> again. And again. And so it's good night from him and good night to you.